is going on guys welcome back to jerry's garage i'm jerry and this is the garage um today i'm going to be building a little um diy power generator solar generator uh, i have this little solar panel set up it's been working great but it's not very portable um, i had all this stuff kind of just sitting on a freezer in my basement um, for about two months so today we're going to be solving that problem with this guy this is a computer case um, you've probably seen the solar generators built in a toolbox. They work great, um, nice and sealed from the elements, um, but they just don't have that that cool look that I'm looking for. So uh, this thing is really well ventilated. It's going to be inside most of the time anyway, so I'm not too worried about uh, being really sealed from the elements. Um, mostly going to be an indoor power station, so I'm going to walk you through it. I uh, picked this thing up for about 50 bucks on Marketplace. Needs a little cleaning, but I think it's going to work great. As long as everything fits this is the 100 amp hour uh, ampere time battery if you're watching this you've probably seen these batteries they're pretty popular uh it's been working great bought this with my own money it's about 550 canadian i got the victron 120 this thing works awesome you know there's cheaper controllers for the money but once you've had a victron you just you can't go to anything else they're awesome so uh yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna start getting this stuff fitted up here and i'll bring you along This is looking good. We can do the um, positive, negative. I think I'll put the charge controller right here. Looks like everything's gonna fit. I thought this case was gonna be way too big, but um, everything's gonna fit just nicely, I think.
I think this is my favorite part about mounting it this way. Pop these thumb screws out. You should be able to remove this. Nope. Never mind. Oh, wrong one. There we go. I don't think I mentioned it before, but this is the foam uh, that actually comes with the Ampere Time batteries. They do come packaged up pretty nice. So I was hoping I could put the whole battery in this, but it's just not gonna fit. So I've cut a piece, uh, at least for this side, that'll sort of protect um, the terminals from shorting out against the metal case. I got this guy here in case the inverter ever moved, it can't short out. Um, I'm gonna keep the caps on the battery too, so I think that should be pretty well protected. I don't think that's gonna be an issue. I'm gonna use this 10 gauge wire just because it's what I have. This is uh, residential wire. I'm just gonna strip it back and use the strands. It's good for 30 amps, so this thing uh, being only a 20 amp, it'll be more than enough. I'm going to be adding a couple of these into the circuit. Uh, this is basically a normally open limit switch. So this is going to run the fan. Uh, this is going to see constant power, but there's no continuity through those two terminals. So once these reach, uh, I think these are 110 degree Fahrenheit switches, um, they close and they send power through those two terminals. So they'll be wired in series with the fan. Uh, so with this thing throwing out the heat right here, it's going to heat up this switch. Uh, that'll close the circuit and bring the chassis fan on. Uh, I was going to use one of those little um, controllers like this one right here. I use that for my garage heater, but uh, I don't want a constant draw. So this is a good way to control the fan without any power coming out of the battery. Um, so I think that should work well. I don't think it's going to get that hot, but I want to have something in there to turn the fan on and off just in case. This is just a little power bar I got on Amazon. I thought about wiring um, my own outlet through the, the terminals here, but this is just so much cleaner and easier. You just plug it in, run the wire over, and there you go. It's kind of got a more finished look than if I were to just cut an outlet in and put a box cover over it. So I think it's cleaner. I'll put the link in the description if you guys want to check it out. Um, I think it was like 20 bucks, so easy way to do it. Okay guys, that's pretty much it. Um, as you can see, I got the inverter controller mounted here. It's the remote switch. We got the outlets, USB. I haven't done anything with these yet. These are removable. Not sure what I wanna do with those. Uh, I don't think I mentioned it. This is a thousand watt uh, Renogy inverter. It's a pure sign. Works pretty good. It's good enough for what I need. I got the fuse mounted. 
charge controller and the fan. Uh, the only thing I didn't get to do, uh, I had ordered uh, 10 gauge um, XT60 leads for a quick uh, solar input connector, but they didn't ship in time. Amazon back ordered them. They said they're probably not gonna be here for a couple more weeks, so I didn't really wanna wait on that. Um, I'll add them when I get them. Maybe I'll do a quick video on that, but otherwise it's time to pack this thing up and do a couple tests with it. Okay, everything's in. That's a really tight fit. Um, got the battery. Everything's ready to go. Get it packaged up here, put the panels on, and we'll give it a try. It looks really good. All set. I got a heat gun set up here. This is a 12 and a half amp heat gun. Uh, so we're gonna run it for a little while. I got a little thermometer. We'll see how hot uh, inside of the case gets. I'm just gonna stick it right in here. Now we're at 61 degrees, so we'll see what that says in a few minutes. Okay, well it's been running for about five, maybe 10 minutes now. You can hear the fans on the inverter just running slightly. We're at 63 degrees Fahrenheit. So really don't think it's gonna be an issue. This case is super ventilated. Um, I don't think heat's gonna be a big problem. I thought I would give the air compressor a try real quick. I don't see any ratings on this thing as to what uh, kind of amps it pulls, but I don't know, we'll give it a shot. Hopefully it doesn't overload things too bad. Can't do the air compressor. Kind of figured that would happen, but. I don't even really have any other cordless tools I can try on this thing, as you can see. Um, I do have my Milwaukee light. I guess that could be useful if there was a power outage or something and all my M18s went dead. I don't really know how many watts this thing is either, but. I'm sure it could run that for days if it had to. Um, obviously that is battery powered too, but if they were all dead, I guess that would work. So yeah, I don't really know what else to try with this thing, but um, I think it turned out pretty good. It looks cool. It doesn't get hot. Um, if you made it to the end of the video, thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button. It would really, really be appreciated. Help me get my channel off the ground. So. Uh, thanks again for watching. Let me know if you want to see me do anything else with this power station or uh, any other ideas. Thanks.